Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. Again, it's easy problem, but 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 the way to approach it, the way to do it is something different and interesting. So yeah, uh, why not this problem? Uh, so count negative numbers in a sorted a matrix. So basically, it's a sorted. See, mark the word. That is how you know that what optimizations you have to do. I'll explain a bit, but yeah. Please use everything that is given extra. They could have given you the simple matrix, right? If they have given you sorted ones, so can you grab something out from this sorted characteristics of that matrix? Given the M cross M matrix grid, which is sorted in a non increasing order, which means okay, it's decreasing, but it can also have the same values, uh, both row wise and column wise. Again, star mark this both row wise and column wise it's not like okay, it's only sorted in the non-decreasing order like this but it's also sorted non-decreasing order like this also cool that will actually make you sure that how to approach this uh return the number of negative numbers in a grid you have to return the number of negative numbers in a grid let's if we just quickly glance at the example then the example is uh this one 4, 3, 2, minus 1. So basically it is, you know, you, you, like you can see it is sorted, non-increasing. It is sorted, non-increasing. For sure, I have to find one very, 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 if it had been in a contest, if you look at the constraints, N is 100, M is 100. If it would have been in a contest, just go and quickly iterate and N cross a matrix and find the number of negative numbers. If it would have been in a contest. Don't think of any optimization whatsoever. Because the constraints, it will just work on O of N in M into N. And that will be it. If it would have been a contest, please go and do the very, very intuitive and the most basic way. Which is, just simply trade on the entire matrix and find the negative numbers. But, we have to optimize that, right? So, for sure, one thing which comes at, at the top of our mind while thinking of this, okay. It was sorted. When something is sorted, what all we can apply? One very basic initial thing comes, okay, binary search. Because sorted binary search. And see, if you don't have this intuition and stuff, just go and watch. See, it's a video of basic binary search and it's an entire playlist of the different kinds of problems, like different levels of problems for binary search. So I'll highly recommend if you don't have the background of binary search or you want to intuitively think of, okay, for every problem, what is new, how to think that, okay, how binary search is applied in this problem, how to think the binary search will be used. So for that, a playlist is entirely for you. Just go and watch that. But now we know key easily, okay, it is a sorted. I want a number of negative numbers, number of negative numbers, number of negative numbers, number of negative numbers. So simply go and just do a upper bound or a lower bound with the edge case such that you land up till here and all the elements which are negative so basically you have to do because you know all the negative elements will lie at one side as the entire row is sorted so i will simply go at every row do a binary search starting from the first negative element until all the elements first negative element until all the elements first negative element until all the elements and that is how i can simply going on to every row and doing a binary search on the column of every row I can find okay what is the location of the first negative element and up till end all the elements are negative so i can i can just say okay all these elements are actually the negative elements and that is for if the rows are n and the columns are let's say m but we are applying by search or all the columns it will be o of log m right if repeat i repeat n are rows and m are columns but 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 we could have applied it but as an interviewer, I know it has a, it has a better approach. So I'll ask you, hey, optimize this, this more. And the, it's the problem is also saying, can you optimize it into O of N plus M? So if you just clearly look at this concept, what we use so far, we use only the concept that the columns are sorted. We did not use that the rows are also sorted, right? How about if we can use this part, okay? One thing I know for sure, the rows are also sorted. And I know my complexity has reached O of N into log M. So the next better thing I can do is O of N plus M. 
because it will be nothing but I can do by either O of n into log m or O of m into log n. But better thing I can do is O of n plus m. Now to do O of n plus m, I can't do a binary search. I have to either go at either go at every row or at every column to figure out how many number of such number such negative numbers are there, right? Oh, as I was saying, I have to go at every row and every column to figure out how many numbers negative numbers are there. So if I am at this particular row in O of 1, I have to figure out how many number of negative numbers are there because I have to reduce the complexity such that see I am helping you out okay you know you have to optimize you know at what complexity you have to bring to now you will think okay how I can bring by n I know I have to go at every row but I have to also find the number of negative numbers for that row for that I have to find the number of negative numbers in that row in over one time or at a max in total for every column in O of n time m time I'll show, what, what, I'll show what that means but yeah for every row find in O of one time cool now what I will do is okay I have my pointer C as here it will just say okay now it is positive for now it is negative sorry for sure all the numbers after it are also negative because it is decreasing so if my C is here my R is here I can easily say okay for this row all the numbers because my C is here Initially, it is starting from the very start. So, all the numbers are negative. So, I can just say my number of negative numbers count is actually 4 for the last row. Now, I can decrease my row. Okay, cool. Again, the C will remain same. But now you, now you know one thing. That my, that my rows are also sorted. Which means if this is negative, it can be negative or positive. Anything. Okay, cool. It was positive. But I want, I'm only concerned about the negative numbers. So I'll move ahead. I'll move ahead. It's also positive. Cool. No worries. I'll just move ahead. Now it is negative. For sure. I will add two because up till here end, it is all negative numbers. Now you will say, Aryan, when you will move up? Because now all the negative numbers in this row are done. So when you will move up, will you move up directly or will you go back? I will say I will move up directly. I won't go back because if these numbers are positive, for sure all the above numbers are also positive. Why? Because it was a decreasing. It was decreasing. So the above number for sure must be more than or equal to the below number. So for sure these numbers are same. So you saw one thing what happened. I am iterating on row once and same. Here also my column is only going forward one, 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 one. That's it. It is never going back, never going back. So for every row, accumulative, like cumulative, my column is just going forward entirely. That's the reason. What will happen again? It is again positive. So it will again go forward. Cool. See. So again, number of negative numbers are nothing but one. Again, it is done entirely. It will just go up. It will again go up. It is again negative. So I will just again add a one. That is the reason I will get my answer as 8. And that was the answer as 8. You saw what happened. I know one thing. For every row, I have to bring out the columns in O of 1. So, maybe it would have been O of n. But I realize, okay, I can't just get O in O of 1. But for every row, in cumulative, I can get my number of negative um, elements in the column in O of m time. Because cumulatively, you saw. It is just going forward, 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 and then forward, and then forward. So basically it is iterating on this particular row, M, and also going once in this M. That's the reason it's complexity O of N plus M. And that is how we actually build the solution of getting this complexity of O of N, N plus M. And the code is pretty, pretty, pretty simple. It's just N, M, which is R, N, C, and just going that above. We initialize my R, I initialize my C as I showed you in the beginning also, then until, until uh, both of them reaches the end, which means until my R is less than equal to zero or my M exceeds M, I'll just keep on going because I need to go on this particular thing entirely. Now, I'll just check as I said, if the number is negative, I am good. I should count the 
number of negative elements in that particular row. But if the number is positive, please increase your C pointer because C pointer will actually increase. So I'll increase my C pointer. If the number is negative, just firstly, you know, you have to you have to count the number of negative numbers in that particular row and also for later part increase that row which means sorry decrease that row because this row is done this row is done what is happening this row is done now you have to go to the next row to actually analyze that next row that's the reason i'll just do a r minus minus and also to count the number of negative numbers in that particular row which have been like reduced just now but it would be M, which is the number of columns minus C, which is the count of which is the like just just it is pointing to that location. And that is how I can simply go and count. And this complexity is nothing but O of N plus M. Ultimately, I can just return the count. Time O of N plus M space O of 1. That is how you can actually solve this question. I hope that you guys are ready.